What if Goku was the Omni King instead of Zeno? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 2? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was The Omni King Instead Of Zeno, we mentioned that Zeno's father had decided to go and appoint someone else to be the Omni King instead of Zeno. Zeno did not like this idea as he begged his father to reconsider it, but his father told him that he was very immature and he did not felt that Zeno would be the right place to be on the Omni King's throne. With that, Zeno had nothing but revenge on his mind as he left but from there, the Omni Key Blast went and it shined on Yamoshi, the first Super Saiyan God, but his power couldn't handle that, as his body exploded and from there it continued to pass down the Saiyan race until it came to one Saiyan who was Goku. Goku was able to fully have that power within his body, making him an Omni King full-fledged deity. With that, Frieza and his men came to destroy the planet. As King Cole confronted him, Goku did not like that. So he went and he displayed some of his power as he managed to go and erase everyone that was there except for Frieza. Frieza like a coward went and he left the planet quickly while Daishiken has arrived and told all the Saiyans that Goku is the king of everything known as the Omni King. As he took Goku right back to his world and he told Goku everything about who he is and Goku's first request as an Omni King ruler was to get stronger by having them train him. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku was the Omni King instead of Zeno? Part 2 Dai Shinken and the two angels went and they began training Goku for 20 years straight as they spent most of the time inside the Chamber of Time which is the angels hyperbolic time chamber and at the same time they were doing everything they can on Goku to educate him and try to make him know everything he needs to know since he is the Omni King. And also Daishigen did make a promise to his old master before he died that he would make sure that the new Omni King will take his place and be a ruler as the Omni King he should be. With that, 20 years has passed since Goku has arrived and he has now become the new Omni King as this world is now named Goku's world and their training with the three angels has now come to an end. And with that, they have all emerged out of the Chamber of Time where Goku has now grown into a full-fledged adult. As he looked towards Dai Shinken and said, Thank you so much for training me guys, I really appreciate it. My lord, don't ever need to thank me, we live to serve you, you are our main priority at all times. <laughs> Thanks, but now it's time we go and do the summit with all the gods, let them know who their new Omni King is, and from there we'll discuss about who gets to keep their job, and who doesn't. Well, sounds like a plan my lord, I'll go and arrange everything, and make everyone come to see you finally. As also my lord, now that you're the Omni King, it'll be best you get some bodyguards, you know, something like the last Omni King had, they're right behind you, they're the same bodyguard that served the old Omni Kings in the past, and they're here to serve you. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I'm not really too sure about that. I'm, I don't need bodyguard, after all. You guys trained me to become one of the strongest to ever exist. So honestly, training with you guys and with my Omni Key power, I could say I'm evenly as strong as you now, Dai Shinken. Well, that do be facts, my lord. You are as strong as me. And when it comes to your past predecessor, you're pretty much stronger than all of them combined. That's how strong you are because you are the only Omni King who actually wanted to train and as all thanks to your blood, you being a Saiyan, it allows you to be this strong. Also my lord, since you're the Omni King, maybe you should wear some Omni King clothes. I'll give you the exact same clothes but the Omni King style. 
How do you like this? Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty unique. I do like my training cl clothes that you gave me. Well, my lord, I do live to serve you. And now that you're an Omni King, it'll look a lot professional when you wear this only when you meet with your fellow gods. I like these, sounds great. Okay then, let's go do the meeting now. It's time I meet with everyone. Because after the meeting, I got a lot of work to do. And I'm not going to wear these clothes when I go out to do my work. When I do my errands, I'm going to wear my regular geek clothes. That way, I, no one needs to know that I'm the Omni King. Well, do whatever you see fit, my lord. And now about the meeting, I'm going to go and summon everyone. As Dai Shengen went and he did a summon, asking all the deities to come to meet their new Omni King. And with that, everyone from each universe has arrived, including Universe 13, 14, 15, and 16. Since Zeno wasn't the Omni King, he never ended up erasing those universes, and they still stand there. As Dai Shengen went and he said, Welcome my fellow deities, Kai, Destroyer, and Angel. Today we have a very special day for all of you guys. We have lived our life for over a century without an Omni King, but today we finally have a new ruler that will be watching all of us in this multiverse. Allow me to introduce you guys to Kakarot, the Omni King Saiyan, or you could call him the King of Everything. Hello everyone, it's good to finally meet you and all in person. I understand that the multiverse was left alone with no Omni King and because of that, nothing was in order but now, I promise you I will not let that happen again. As you guys new Omni King, I'll make sure to always be here to watch over all of you guys and even our beautiful multiverse because we're gonna do everything we can to make sure this universe continues to live and progress the way it should. I see most of you guys managed to come here, but there's some that didn't come. My lord, Beerus didn't come because he was sleeping as we speak. I see. Well, that will have to change. I'm gonna have someone replace him soon. One thing I want to address is that the past Omni King made it where angels cannot interfere with mortal matters and they can't use their full power, but today, that is going to change. Angels will now be able to help mortals if the destroyer can't do due to a lack of training, that's when the angels are allowed to go and do whatever they can to make sure that the universe is safe and help the mortals to make sure they win their battle. And also they can now train any mortal they wish to be involved with only with mortal matters. Oh wow, that is great news my lord. You all heard the Omni King. We will now be allowed to fight and get involved with mortal matters. <laughs> that will make things a lot easier now. I also want all the angels to see which mortal is the strong and pure hearted one from your guys universe and make them your student, train them so then they can give the other mortals a competition and I want to see more mortals out there with god key and be able to transform with using god key power that way we can keep this universe in balance and safe for a very long time. And as for the destroyers, they will no longer erase the worlds that don't deserve to be erased and that the only evil ones will be erased. I want all the destroyers to go and destroy evil and fight for good because this is what we live for. We are here to make sure that the multiverse is in good hand and for that to happen, we need to eliminate all evil. So guys, let's get to work. My lord, I'm sorry for speaking out of turn but tell me, when you said about Beerus needing to be changed, what did you mean by that? How dare you question our Omni King. I'm sorry, my lord, forgive me please. Well that's all now. We all have to go back. Thank you very much for coming again and I would like to get a monthly progress report from all of you guys and I would like to get a list of mortals that you guys decide to go and train. Make sure you guys choose one mortal to train every now and then so they can all have God Key. As everyone has now returned right back to the universe while Goku came back to his world and from there he went and he changed his clothes back to his original Gi and he looked towards everyone and said, the universe 7 is such a mess, I saw a lot of stuff that happened including my home planet, they're in a the path of trying to be space pirate, that's not good, and not just that, that evil tyrant who is trying to rule the universe is out there, and he also managed to go and train for 20 years straight huh? Yes my lord, his name is Frieza, he is actually the one who is trying to go on a vengeance to kill you, <laughs> okay then I would like to see what he can do. 
as Goku noticed the strong power levels coming from the universe and said, I think I got my replacement for my new bodyguard and destroyer. Well, first things first, I need to go do some work. As Goku has left and he instantly came to a planet known as Planet Vampa. Upon his arrival, Goku then saw how bad the planet was, but he also saw two Saiyans he wanted to meet with were there, and from there one of them came towards him, and he saw Broly was the one, as he was confused on who Goku is, but from there Paragus ran towards Goku and said, Please help us! We have been stranded here for so long! This is my son Broly! I know! Hi Broly! My name is Kakarot! I- Oh wow! You're a Saiyan too? Amazing! Please help us! Sure, but hey Broly, I have a job for you. How would you like to be my personal bodyguard? Um, okay I guess. As Dai Shengen has arrived and said, My lord, you're here. Lord? That is right, he is the king of everything. The one that rules the entire multiverse. And I see you have chosen your new bodyguard, huh? Would you like me to go train him for you, my lord? Yes, please do so, Daishinken. As Daishinken went and he took Broly back to Goku's world and he began to train him there. While that was happening, Goku took Paragus right back to Planet Vegeta. As they instantly arrived to Planet Vegeta and with that, all the Saiyans saw Goku. At first they didn't know who he was, but then when they looked at him closer, they remembered that the child with that hairstyle was also known as to be the ruler of the universe and from there they all got surprised that he has come as they didn't know if they should bow down to him or not but from there Bara came and said Kakarot is that you my son? Yes that's me dad and I'm also here to have a talk with you guys. Back when I saved you guys life from Frieza's man I expected all you guys to be a better person but you guys turned out to be some space pirate which I don't appreciate at all. Uh, I'm very sorry but this is the only way I could think of making my planet survive. As of today, I want you all to now be with peace and be those type of warriors that save lives of others. This planet will be wealthy, I can assure you that, but first you need to start by making sure everyone doesn't fear you and that you guys are helper of the universe. Oh really? And tell me Kakarot, why should we listen to you? Are you even the Omni King? We heard about you erasing everyone, but I doubt it your power is that strong. Let's see if it's that strong or not Mr. Omni King. Vegeta, you're very arrogant, but a perfect candidate to be the next destroyer. So how's this? I'll make this agreement. If I lose to you, I'll take your orders and you guys do whatever you like. But if I win, you'll have to become the next destroyer. What? D destroyer? What are you talking about, Kakarot? While that was happening, far in the galaxy, Zeno has been keeping tabs on everything and said, This new Omni King... Who does he think he is? He's trying to change everything we made! And that's not all my lord! He's also letting the angels fight too! Well, we cannot do anything right now, but we will get more reinforcements and take him out when the time is right, and let you be the next Omni King, but as of for you right now, are you ready to take him out? Ha! I have been ready for all I can! I did train for 20 years for this power, let me go and slay this Omni King! After all, you did train me, but I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I continue to rule the universe like we agreed. That is right. You slay the Omni King, the universe is yours. Very well then. I shall make my way to slay him. Find out what happens as we have Frieza who trained with Zalama for 20 years straight. What kind of power did Frieza end up gaining since we do know that his race is a very powerful race. Find out what happens in the next episode. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And if you haven't subscribed to my boy Vegeta T23, please subscribe to him and help him get to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me, click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.